In this video, let's learn about non-prop attributes in Vue. A non-prop attribute is an attribute that is passed to a component but does not have a corresponding property defined in the props option. For example, ID, class and style attributes. They are not custom attributes but can be specified on a component similar to specifying a prop. Let's understand their behavior with an example. If you can recollect from the previous video, we created a component called article. It has a root div node and then a few heading elements. In the script block, you can also see the props the component accepts. In the app component, we call the article component passing in the appropriate props. These props are custom attributes. However, you're also going to come across scenarios where you need to pass in regular HTML attributes like an ID attribute. Let's add that to our article component. ID is equal to my article. If we save the file and take a look at the browser and inspect the article element, you can see the ID attribute present on the div tag. Now this is the default behavior in view. When a component returns a single root node, non-prop attributes like the ID attribute will automatically be added to the root node's attributes. In our scenario, the article component returns a single root node which is the div element. So the non-prop attribute, which is the ID attribute, is automatically added to the div element. If we comment out the div tag, we don't have a single root element. In this case, view does not apply the ID attribute to any of the elements. You can see that this is the case with the four H2 elements that we have. None of them have an ID attribute. Now the default behavior is definitely helpful. However, at times, you don't want view to automatically apply the non-prop attributes on the root DOM node. Instead, you would want them to be applied on a different element inside the root node. For such scenarios, view does provide you the ability to bind the non-prop attributes to the element of your choice. So back in the article component, let's say we want the ID applied on the article title. All we have to do is use the vbind directive with a special component property as its value. And that is the dollar sign followed by attrs short for attributes. Let me also uncomment the div tag. Now the non-prop attributes are applied on the article title. If we save the file and head back to the browser, you can see that the ID attribute is present on the article title. However, we have the ID attribute still present on the root div element. And this is because of the default behavior in view. To disable this behavior in the article component, we specify another option. Inherit attributes and set it to false. This will prevent the non-prop attributes from being applied to the root element. If we take a look at the browser, you can see that the ID attribute is now present only on the title element and not on the div element. Now, non-prop attributes is a concept that you're more likely to experience firsthand when you're building components around form controls like inputs, select dropdowns, and so on. You would want attributes like ID, name, data attributes, etc., to be sometimes applied on the root node and sometimes on a node of your choice. Keep these points in your mind when you come across that situation. Inherit attributes set to false to prevent the default fall through of the non-prop attributes on the root node 
and the dollar attributes property to bind them to a node of your choice in the template. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.